are so many incredible YouTubers and a lot of them have started making their own brands and products. So today we're going to be giving some of them a try and seeing are they actually good or are they just really hyped up because of the name that's attached to them. So let's do it. Okay, you guys, I am so, so, so excited for this video. So let's not chit chat. Let's dive in. We all get the concept. Let's go. The first YouTuber brand we're going to be trying today is Pop Flex Active by the one and only Cassie Ho from Blogilates. Blogilates has over 8 million subscribers, getting close to 9 million. So she's obviously a very popular YouTuber. And this is the only YouTuber out of all the brands I'm gonna be reviewing today that I personally watch. I love watching her shorts, they're so fun. I really like Cassie Ho. Her Poplex Active brand is a brand I have been dying to try. Like it's the reason for this entire video. I am literally like about to lose my mind, I'm so excited. I love active wear, not only to wear while I work out, obviously, but just to wear in general. So let's dive into some of her pieces. So some of the things that entice me about this brand is obviously the stuff is cute, but also is all of the design and like thought process that went into each item. She's not just making random like classic pieces. She's like elevating them and redesigning them herself, which I love. So for those of you who haven't watched Cassie Ho's design shorts, basically what she does is she finds a basic piece of activewear like leggings or a sweatshirt or a sports bra and she sees maybe what could be improved to make it more functional, more cute and just make it all around better. And she redesigns it and recreates it and tests it out until it's perfect and then boom, she's kind of reinvented a bunch of activewear stuff. So. I love that she actually like puts the time and the thought into her brand and isn't just making the same old pieces. So let's try some stuff out. Okay, so I'll show on the screen kind of what her website looks like. It's very nice, very clean, not overwhelming, very easy to use. Uh, if you live in the United States and you spend over $100, you get free shipping. I definitely spent over $100. <laughs> So I got the free shipping. It took about a week from the time I placed the order to the time it arrived on my doorstep for the package to arrive. So just pretty standard shipping. So now let's talk about the pieces I got. Ah! Okay, so the first piece I got is this brunch sweater. This piece is what made me like start looking into Popplex Active because this sweatshirt looks incredible. I am a long sleeve girl. I literally wear sweaters in the summer. like. Sweaters are amazing. I love things that have big, dramatic sleeves. So like I said before, I was talking about how she redesigns basic things. So I'm gonna put the short up on the screen of her design process behind this sweater so that you can kind of like see what I was talking about. I just wanna give you guys as much information about the brands as I can so that if you're interested in them, you kind of know what you're getting into. It's time to elevate the basic crew neck sweatshirt and add some drama. Honestly, it's giving boring, it's giving bland, and the original crew neck sweatshirt was made for a man. So I wanted to create something that can make me feel beautiful and feminine, but also still be super comfy. Everything begins with the right fabric, so I chose cloud fabric as the base, which is so thick compared to your typical sweatshirt, and I added thick rib because we are talking about luxurious comfort here, okay? Wider arms with pleats because I want volume, I want drama. I also drop the sleeves for a relaxed look and widen the neckline so you can get this over your face without getting your makeup on it. It's oversized but slimming because of the way the waist tapers in along with the princess seams which have invisible pockets. For the back, I didn't want to leave it as a blank canvas so I also added princess seams there because drama, you guys, from every single angle. This is the brunch sweater. It is so roomy, comfy, and elevated. You can wear this to the gym or to brunch with the girls because it is definitely drama worthy. Okay, so there was like her thought process behind that sweatshirt that totally enticed me. So let's throw it on and see if it meets the expectation I had in my head. In case you can't tell, I'm like beyond excited. <laughs> okay, can I just say the other stuff I ordered from Poplex came in these thin little parcels. And look at this massive, thick thing. I'm obsessed with the style. These sleeves, these pleats, holy cow. These seams on the inside are so flattering. Massive pockets, like on both sides, they don't connect, but like they're big so that you can just 
curl up like this. Neckline's nice and wide so I can get my makeup on it. The inside, this cloud fabric, my goodness, it's great. And I love that the shoulders are so wide so I don't feel like constricted when I'm moving around. The length is so great, I just feel so like, I'm just covered in the best blanket ever. So I'm obsessed. I feel like we can't review Poplex Active without trying some of their legendary like hourglass anti-camel toe leggings. So let's do it. So I got the flared ones. I've actually never ever worn flared leggings before or crisscross leggings, but they're in style now and I'm so excited to give it a try. Oh my gosh, you guys. I literally, I have never felt so incredible in a pair of leggings before in my life. These are insane. They are so soft. They flare just below the knee, just like they're supposed to. Like they literally fit me like a dream, a great length. Like I said, I've never worn flared leggings before, but like, oh my gosh. They're not like the absurd flare that's gonna get in your way. They're just the perfect amount. I'm gonna show you close-ups of the flare on the bottom in just a second, I promise. But these leggings, oh my gosh. I, mm, this is, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to buy more. Like, I'm gonna have to buy more. You, I, I cannot say this enough. Buy these, like, mm, buy them, please. They are, mind blowing okay also the crisscross waistband amazing i've never seen that before but it's so comfortable and so flattering it get this sweatshirt and get these leggings the only thing that's not incredible about them is the price this sweatshirt was 82 dollars, which is that's not cheap i understand that for a sweatshirt 82 dollars for a sweatshirt is not cheap but i mean you guys it's worth it and these leggings Oh my gosh, I don't remember how much they were. I want to say 65, but oh my goodness. And they even have pockets. Oh my gosh. I don't think I can ever take these off of my body. Okay, the last product we're gonna try from Poplex Active is called the Perfect Tea. So hopefully it's perfect. I have high expectations with a name like that, but it's basically just just like the name says, supposedly the perfect tee that's versatile for active wear, around the house wear, or going out wear. I, it looks super cool. I'm excited to try it. Cassie, 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 Cassie. I genuinely believe you have created the perfect tee. Also this cut in the front, how it like goes a little longer on the sides. Why do all t-shirts not have this? It's so flattering. It gives it so much shape. It just lays so much better. Ladies, go get this shirt. Like you won't regret it. I know this kind of looks green on camera, but it's actually like a dark gray. And I mean, it's amazing. So this was $35, which again, is a little bit pricey for just a t-shirt, but like this isn't just a t-shirt. It's amazing. And it can totally be dressed up or down like cute athletic outfits or wear it with jeans or like a skirt, even do a little tie up or a tuck and like, it's a nice going out shirt. So versatile, so amazing. All the colors in it are beautiful. Okay you guys, so I mean, Popflex blew my socks off. That was incredible. Like I have not felt that good in clothing for a while. It was amazing. 10 out of 10 for Popflex Active incredible amazing let's move on to the next brand the next youtuber brand we're gonna try is mr beast feastables whether you love or hate mr beast like we all know of mr beast like i feel like he's the youtube legend i personally don't even watch him but like he's everywhere <laughs> so he has quite a few products but his main line is the mr beast Feastables, which the Feastables are basically like treats, like chocolate bars and cookies and things like that. But I feel like the thing is like they're more natural, like they have fewer ingredients and I wouldn't say they're healthy, but they have recognizable ingredients and less like extra garbage that so much candy has in it today, which I definitely appreciate. So let's try some stuff. 
Okay, so the first thing we're gonna try are his candy bars. So he has several different flavors of his chocolate bars, but I didn't wanna just try like regular or milk chocolate because I know what that tastes like. I wanted to get some of the fun ones. So I got the quinoa crunch chocolate bar and the chocolate peanut butter one. So let's give these a try. Okay, so let's try the quinoa crunch one first. So these are $2.50 each for the big ones. This is a pretty decent size. I will say these are like paper thin. I had to dig at the grocery store to find one that wasn't in a million pieces. So I'm gonna be very gentle opening it. So yeah, this is the quinoa crunch one, which is supposed to be like the crunch chocolate bar, but uses quinoa for the little crunchies in there. And there's only five ingredients in the chocolate bar, so that's nice. So really epic packaging. I'm really curious to see if you're gonna be able to taste the quinoa or if it's just gonna taste normal. Okay. Mmm, it smells amazing. Oh my gosh, this is hysterical. Guys, look, the little top part says share and then the rest of it doesn't. Oh my goodness, okay. I'm gonna break off the sharing part. I'm sharing with myself, okay. Okay, so it definitely has like a great flavor because it's not as sugary. It's not milk chocolate. It's more on the like darker, just semi-sweet side, which I prefer. I like the more dark chocolate over the like milk chocolate or the really sugary chocolate. I do wish that there was more of the crunchies in there because they're kind of like only on the bottom. And there's just a few. So because it's quinoa, I think it's denser. So it's gonna sink and also it's just, it's not as like crisp as in the original crunch bar. But I definitely prefer to eat the quinoa. Like you can't taste the quinoa and the texture is fine. I just wish there was more of it because you only get like the littlest hint of the crunch at the end. Next up is the peanut butter chocolate one. I'm so excited because I love, love, love peanut butter. Peanut butter is like my favorite food in the whole world. I would probably die without it. So this one only has seven ingredients because it has those two extra ingredients, the peanuts and the salt for the peanut butter in the middle. It's the same idea with the packaging, except it's different colors. This one's orange. I really just do love the packaging. It's so fun. And okay, let's try it. Let me smell. Mmm, okay. Okay. At first I was gonna say, where's the peanut butter? But then it hits you right at the end. And I like it because it tastes like real peanuts. Where my issue with like Reese's, even though I love peanut butter, it's just Reese's taste so sugary, like the peanut butter in the middle. But this is like, tastes more like an actual nut. It's not mind blowing. I wish there was more peanut butter, but still, Really good, really smooth, really just thin and has a nice flavor. Another Mr. Beast Feastable product is his cookies. They're like gluten-free, once again, have fewer ingredients. So I've actually already tried these before. I don't know if you guys saw this short. I posted it quite a while back, but it was trying YouTube brands part one and it had Mr. Beast Feastable cookies in it. So I'm gonna play that short for you right now so you can see my full review on his cookies because I really wanna try them again already reviewed them, so watch this. This is reviewing YouTuber brands part Monster Beast Feastables. So I'm very excited to try these. So I've got chocolate chip and peanut butter chocolate chip. I'm gonna try this one first. Hmm, it's not bad. It has like a little bit of an aftertaste of like I don't know if it's like the potato starch. It smells so good. Okay. Here's how these ones look. These ones are better. Because like the peanut butter overpowers the like weird aftertaste. Final thoughts on these. I'm not sure that I would crave them. But I would eat them. So I'm going to give them 6.5 out of 10. Not, they didn't blow me away, but they're not bad. My final thoughts to sum up both of them, I think that they are both good. I would eat both the chocolate bars and the cookies. Do I think they're maybe slightly overpriced? Maybe. Do I definitely like that there's few ingredients? Yes. Overall, I'm gonna give Mr. Beast Feastables like an eight out of 10. It's not mind blowing, but it meets expectations and I like it. 
Okay, you guys, so the next brand we're gonna try is ITK by Brooklyn and Bailey. So this is a skincare line. I don't watch Brooklyn and Bailey personally, but I've heard a lot about this line. I'm very excited to try it. Um, one great thing about this line is it's definitely more affordable, especially compared to like PopFlex, because I know some of these YouTuber brands can get expensive, but all of their skincare products are in the 10 to $15 range, which is incredible. So I so I really love how affordable they've made this line. So they have a bunch of different products, cleansers, toners, whatever. The one that caught my attention the most, and I might be wrong about this, but I feel like it's kind of one of their most popular products, is the color changing face mask. So it's supposed to change colors from like whitish to pink. So I'm really excited to do this face mask. Let's go do it. I almost forgot to mention this, but this face mask is paraben and sulfate free, vegan and cruelty free, synthetic fragrance free. It's in a recyclable box and it's dermatologist tested. So all of those things are great. Okay, you guys, so now we're filming in the bathroom to do skincare and I have no makeup on, no products on at all, nothing on my face so we can try out this skincare. I'm so excited. I really hope it color changes. So here's the packaging. I like it, very simple, got the ITK. Let's get this open. Okay, sized bottle for $15. So it says that it's AM and PM, and the directions are just apply onto face, let it dry for five minutes, rinse, and then dry your face. Okay, let's do it and see that consistency. Kind of like lotion, and it almost looks like, it's like a strange gray color. Okay, let's put it on. I'm gonna be looking straight ahead because the mirror's right here. Ooh, okay, very sticky. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a lot on for this time so we can see if it color changes or not. Sorry, no, I'm not looking at the camera. But... Oh my gosh, it's already color changing. Holy cow, look at this, it's pink now. Do you guys see that? Oh, 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 it changed color in like two seconds. Okay, so I think it's dry because like I can touch my face and it's not coming off. My face feels so weird, like I can barely move it. I definitely used an excessive amount, but okay, look at this, you guys. Look at how pink it is. It just kept on getting more pink. Oh, that's so fun. Like, that's so fun. Okay, let's rinse it off now. Okay, so that was actually kind of difficult to get off. Um, definitely don't use the excessive amount that I used because it did not want to leave my face, but I got it off and honestly, like my skin feels really good. Honestly, I really like it. It's really fun, feels really good on my skin and yeah, I really like it. Okay, you guys, so that has been trying YouTuber brands. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I had a blast trying all these incredible products. Honestly, all of them were so good. Of course, my favorite is gonna have to go to Potflex Active, but honestly, they're all so good. I wanna try more from all of these brands and I wanna try more YouTuber brands. So let me know if you wanna see a part two because I really wanna do a part two because this was incredible so much fun i yeah i definitely recommend these brands 100 percent not sponsored by any of them i don't know if i said that at the beginning i yeah i don't think i did but not sponsored by any of these brands obviously i'm reviewing youtuber brands well thank you guys so much for watching make sure you're subscribed and make sure you come back every weekend for new videos and make sure you turn on the notification bell so you get notified every time i post new videos because i post a ton of shorts throughout the week and lots of fun bonus content so make sure you turn on the bell button notification so you don't miss an upload and i'll see you guys back here next time thank you for watching let me know if you want a part two and i'll see you guys in the next one bye